Now, check out the recap. <laughs> Got to flip and spin and grab, that's what it's about, man. Fucking for dollars. The strategy for me today is not to kill myself and not to look like a eater. Well, today's the U.S. Free Skiing Open, second annual, 1999. Absolutely the newest of the new school ski competition. Uh, it doesn't get any uh, more cutting edge than this. We got the best athletes from around the world. We got people from Japan, France, Quebec, Wisconsin. That's, that's, I don't even know where that is. This event has completely exploded in just one year with the sponsorship, the participation, people coming from all over the world. You know, I'll tell you the truth, last year was a Colorado only competition. This year we've got people from all over the world. All right, 5-0 on course. Go, Scotty. Go on course. The slope style offers opportunities to get air and practice all the latest tricks and hopefully please the judges. Oh, I'm looking for carnage. I want to see people just going ballistic and stomping it. It's a good competition. There's a lot of big competitors out here, so I think it's going to take something really sick and really big and really stomp the landing. I was planning on take it, taking it really easy, but uh, when I saw the kids going crazy, it's uh, kind of hard on the ego not to go crazy either. Well, the judging criteria at the U.S. Open is pretty straightforward. Overall impression dominates everything. We call it the Woody Factor for obvious reasons. Wow the judges. Give them some wood. And what do the judges want? Fun. Anything that you would not normally see. Uh, we, we were really encouraging nudity, but somebody got naked yesterday and they were uh, kicked off the mountain. 38.4. So we, uh, we had to not look for nudity today, and that was against our wishes. Judges are definitely looking for uh, some switch stuff, you know, backwards takeoffs, backwards landings. Switch 360 there to start off with. Judges like to see him going off backwards and landing backwards, much like that. Very impressive. See anything good? See anything you guys like? See anything you like? You just like to see? Solid guy Nickerson, better than his first one when he crashed. Uh, Everything's new here, all the new tricks. There's not even names for them yet. These tricks people have never even seen before, especially the general public, you know? This is all brand new. Canadian Philippe Bellinger won $1,500 at the end of the slope style. That evening, it was Into the Darkness with the Big Air competition. I'm going to try to go big and nail it. Do you get smacked in the eyes by the light? No, actually, I think the visibility is better at night. It's either black or white. It's super easy to figure out. The next day, competitors headed to the top for the start of the Skier Cross, one of the most exciting events since it's every man for himself against other hungry skiers. Well, what is happening here is it was originally heats of six, but according to the GBSC, which is the governing body of skier cross competitions, we were going after nothing but safety and starting to set the rules and regulations and the gui guidelines to make skier competitions nice and safe. So we've eliminated heats of six, made them heats of four. We're starting with the ski boarders right now. It's going to be some fun here on the bayou. It's going to be a real hoot nanny, you bet you. Skiers ready! There is no biting at any point during the heats. You get to the finals, you'd have to go through six, seven races. That's what they're figuring. Oh. 
This is the third one I've done, and they're so much fun. They're, they're really fun. I've... They're cool because you have the racers, you have extreme skiers, you have mogul skiers, you know, so you have everyone, and they're just, anything can happen. shot is getting out of the gates first into that first section if you're not then you can then you can run your own race you're just racing against yourself otherwise you're fighting everyone else After five heats, the final four came down to three Swedes and one American. The Swedes are former pro tour racers, and their carving ability has helped them all day in staying on course and ahead of the pack. And across the line first was Sverre Lilliquist, who will take home cash from organizer Mike Jaquit. Yeah, well, you know, it's the end of the day, and it's time to divvy up the money, and you know, events cost a lot of money. And I'm sure everybody around the country is well aware of that. And, and this is for the competitors. You know, it's all about the competitors here. We're, we're all about the competitors, and we're, we're keeping it real.